41, Memorial Day weekend with a great weather forecast means we expect to see more people out enjoying upstate lakes and rivers. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli is live in Greer to get you ready Christine. to go safely. Yes. Hi, Christine. Yes. Ah, uh, we certainly hope so. Yeah, you got a pandemic, so you're probably already a little worried. But listen, time to get out. Yeah, many people are going to be so on the lakes as well. We've got SCDNR, Department of Natural Resources, Greg Lucas here. There's also going to be a game warden doing a Facebook Live a little later. Greg, you ha never cease to impress me. He's watching birds out here. We just found a herring. We've got somebody fishing. So there's a lot going on here at Lake Cunningham, right? Yes, there Many is. people are going to be out doing the same thing this weekend. First, do you want people to be aware? of anything that has changed since the pandemic? Well, things not too long ago were very different. A lot of restrictions on the lakes, but those have pretty much all passed, uh, have, have gone away. So we just want to remind people to social distance when they're on, 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 on lakes. If they're on a boat, you know, remember to try to keep that six foot distance. And definitely if you're going to stop on a, on a pier or a sandbar or something, you want to make sure that you keep that keep that social distance. Very good. Different lakes have different rules. I know many of the bigger bodies of water don't have as many restrictions here at Lake Cunningham. Now, nothing on the pier. Got a couple of rules as far as the size of your motor goes, but you can look all of that up online um, with the Facebook Live a little bit later. Right. Yeah, we've got one of our game wardens. Uh, he's actually a local boy, Zach Tatum, who's going to be here uh, at 1030 talking with Allison about safety, about boating safety and about what it's like being a, a game warden. Um, Zach grew up in this area. He went to Traveler's Rest High School. He went nice. to Anderson University. So we're real excited. He's a he's a dynamic young game warden, and we're so glad to have Allison. So blessed to have her, you know, putting him in the spotlight like that. Because we like to law enforcement officers don't always, you know, they're they're great that they're heroes in my opinion, but Agreed. they don't always get the kind of do that they're that I believe they're. You I should. think we should put them on the camera more than me, for sure. People seen my mug enough. You're holding a life jacket there. One of the things to remember, don't boat while intoxicated. You got to have a fire extinguisher, right? Would these even weight an issue? Um, you want to make sure you get the correct fit. Uh, they, there are life jackets for children, life jackets for women. So you want to make sure you get a Coast Guard approved life jacket and get it in your, your weight category. And that's some of the things that, that Zach's going to be talking about a little later this morning. So Easy stuff. Listen, big thanks to Greer CPW for facilitating facilitating that and you guys I know this is going to be a busy weekend for you. You're going to be out and about. So remember to keep an eye on some of that social distancing, some of the things you may not be able to think of uh, or may not think of normally there on Memorial Day. So as you're out and about and then just of course remembering the normal rules like have a designated driver when you're out on a boat guys. Again 1030 the Facebook Live is over at Greer CPW and we're going to go ahead and post a link. I think we've got one WSPA.com guys. It is beautiful out here. We wish you a good weekend. Friday couldn't have gotten here quick enough. Thank yeah. you, Christine. Sabila? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Fred. 7 News is hoping.